Yo, welcome to my order packing stream. It might turn into other stuff if I don't have that many orders to do, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I cleaned off my art table in case we need to turn this into a gift wrapping stream, but we'll, we'll see how it goes because I only have about 10 orders right now. Well, I guess now 11, but we'll keep it at a casual pace. And also people maybe don't know about the restock till just right now because I never announced it anywhere. I just added some pink crewnecks and hoodies to the shop last night and a few sandstone just this morning, but the sandstones are just chest only. But it's only size is a medium, large, extra large. Cause that's all we got in the works so far, but we have like a decent stash. So, you know, we're at the point where we could start doing like weekly restocks, except for not over Christmas time. We won't, but I'm like, let's just do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> and by weekly, it doesn't mean consistently a week, but just roughly that <laughs> depends on how busy our weeks are. Hello, everybody. Oh, I already put in the numbers. Okay, perfect. I, I know you're just... It was two of everything except one XL hoodie. And they're all chest. Yes, one XL hoodie and one XL hoodie and sleeve. Oh, you did the sleeve? Yeah, I, that was the first thing I was doing this morning. Oh, okay, well, I'll add that right now. Yeah. New product was, dropping right now, people. Because there's only of the two XL hoodies in total. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if you're doing that later or what. No. Okay. Yeah, well. So that's an XL hoodie? Yes. XL sandstone hoodie, chest and sleeves. One. Save. Mariano, thank you for the membership or the, the six month membership. <laughs> Did that alert come through verbally or like audibly? I mean, let me just double check. <laughs> I doubt I would have hidden the alerts on this. Actually, I did. I did hide alerts. Yeah. I was going to say, wait, I was filming for the vlog with this setup for my last my or one of my recent vlogs. <laughs> I can't speak. Okay, now alerts are up. Uh -huh. So yeah, I don't have that many orders to do, but some might come in, you never knew. I've got a backup plan. <laughs> if we need to fill more time. The gift wrapping. Rushing to finish my workout so I don't do mi miss too much of the live. Back to lurking probably. Love zipper hoodies, are they coming soon? Right now we're just focusing on the stuff we have right now, getting it restocked. And I would like to design something for a zip up, but um, there's nothing right now. I'm just trying to meet our current demand before I start designing new stuff. Kitty and I timed out Jump Showdown on duos with five beans today. Whoa, pro lobby. That's impressive too, because it can get a little squishy. Or like some bean just starts like flopping around and they whack you and you're like, um. <laughs> Would you ever do a sleeve only design? I guess we just covered that. Would you ever do Luna Moth on black for the smaller sizing, not plus size? Black would probably not be my go-to color for that, but I do just want to get up some black ones because it's like probably one of the most popular hoodie colors ever. So I'd like to get some. The, the sad thing about black is like gaps between threads show up a lot more. Like any darker color that's true for. <laughs> I guess it's true if you put a dark color on a light hoodie, like this dark green. You'll notice any little gaps with the pink showing through because the pink's so much lighter. But uh, 
We're just working through what we got for now. I'm not planning anything new at the moment, but there's definitely the possibility for new colors dropping for stuff in the future. Um, yeah. Keep it fresh. I feel like that green color is so cute for the strawberries. There would be so many cute for the strawberries. Yellow would be cute, although yellow I'd be scared getting it dirty, but man, that'd be a cute one. Light blue. And then Luna Moth, I feel like would look good on light blue as well. It looks really good on the pink, although I'm trying to not duplicate colors yet. <laughs> Cause I had to do some test stitching and I did it on pink and I was like, oh, Luna Moth looks really good. And then black works for pretty much everything. So hard to photograph. Try to get like the photos for the black crew necks. Tough. Yeah, counters on total orders. It was sitting at like 500 and some because it was since the last shop update. And I'm like, okay, it's been long enough that that number is not like, really relevant anymore. And I was kind of thinking it'd be cool if it showed how many open orders I have because I don't have that many to do. So it'd be kind of cool if you see like, oh, we only have five left to do, only have two left to do. I think that'd be kind of neat, but there's no option for that, sadly. Hey, Patrick. I believe my mom ordered me the extra small strawberry sweater for Christmas. So if you see an order for Rebecca from Utah, it's mine. Did we have any extra small stuff? I don't have any right now. Maybe it was one I already packed. <laughs> I don't have any for a Rebecca currently. It was a while ago. Oh, okay, then it's already packed. Can you to show total orders for a month? Yeah, you can. I have like certain shop updates time. So it's like, because if we look at just December, it's like, oh, it's not going to be that many because the shop update happened November. I was like, was it even in November? Yes, it was. Can you go to the top of the cat and read my comment? I really appreciate it. I'm not gonna scroll up to see anything I missed, but yeah, I don't get, I don't manage to see everything, especially at the start of the stream. At the start of the stream, it's like <laughs> influx of comments and then like it dies down a bit. Like even right now, it's already dying down. How are you today? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Let's start on the first one. <laughs> okay. The strawberry sweaters are in the pile, like right here, like the bins we have in this room. So I shouldn't have to go too far for them. I might just grab them as I go instead of grabbing a batch. So I should probably reload. Ship station, I have 14 orders, but ship station shows eight. But that's okay. Oh, and I will have to do a little bit of customs entering, but that's to be expected. That'll be for the B grades. I put up quite a few, I put up 10 B grades. Strawberry and Luna Moth. So those will each be their own. The, those each need their customs info input as they get purchased. So. We'll just do that as we go. I could probably just, I don't even have to do that in the ship station settings. I could probably just do that directly on their order. Okay. Anyway, for Kelly, strawberry weekly planner pad, winter bun washi, little ducky washi, ducky notepad, and winter bun notepad. So, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the box that this would fit it nicely in is out. So I have to put it in a bigger box. What are you doing, Mushy Mew? <laughs> Don't 
Double check the sensors up and running. Even I looked earlier. Any fun trips planned in 2024? I've got some like potential stuff. Like potential Palm Springs because Christian's parents are going and then we're invited to join anytime during the time that they're there. So we're thinking about that and we have another in Mexico wedding. So there's that. <laughs> Possible Disney with Jacob and Taylor. Probably at least one visit to my sister. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to go with the deeper rectangle. I don't really want to buy any new boxes till the new year. No sense in cluttering the house up too much. Oh my God, <laughs> so much empty space. But yeah, I don't want to clutter the house up too much because we're gonna have so many guests and we'll have like people sleeping in the basement. And I'm like, okay, don't go too crazy. I'm gonna do some crank and then I'm gonna to have to stuff with paper balls of paper. I mean, this is paper, but <laughs> uh, crumpled sheets of paper, which I saved from my sketchbooks. Like when I get my sketchbook shipped, there's a piece of paper at the bottom of the box and one at the, the top. You should turn your mic into a necklace. It's clipped to a lanyard. I forgot to go looking for my cute pink one. It was on my keys up until recently, and so I'm like, well, where did I put it? But I tied a knot in the lanyard so it doesn't hang as low, and then it's clipped to both halves. When's your last packing day before you take a vacation for Christmas? I don't know, I haven't really planned it yet, because... Like, I will be home. <laughs> I obviously want to just take time off to spend with family. So I haven't quite decided yet. It might depend too, like if we have a batch of sweaters or something, I might be like, okay, let's keep the shop open a little longer to get some of these out. Oh, I gotta take my ring off. I notice it especially when I do the, the tape because the bottom of my ring will rub on the box. Like when I do this. Hi from UK, love the strawberry sweater. Might just get myself one. Do you think they're good for a nan? Oh, they're good for anybody, as long as you like the design. Great for any age. Okay, we gotta refresh, cause the scale's not registering. Always happens when I first start. <laughs> there we go. Look at that baby mush. I had a dream Kiki evolved like a Pokemon and she looks really badass, but I was mad that she wasn't all small and cute anymore. <laughs> I was devastated. Put the fam to work. I actually did that the last time my sister visited. She helped me pack orders. <laughs> okay, ornament set. I'm just gonna repack this flatter since it's the only thing. It can go in a VHS box. But, I'm gonna set them all next to each other. Ooh, can I get this sticker off? I don't have any more of these stickers. Well, it ripped off a piece of tape with it. Cause these were previously sealed with tape from the manufacturer and I just like, cause they would wrap two charms per bubble wrap sleeve and I'd repackage them. So they'd have one of each bun. I 
finally scored the strawberry crew neck for my mother-in-law late for Christmas, but happy I got it. <laughs> Maybe it'll get there just in time, you never know. It's kind of that awkward period where it's like, uh, <laughs> will it or won't it make it for Christmas? This is for Holly, by the way, from South Dakota. <laughs> Does your little potato princess have a name? Wait, that sounds wrong. Uh oh. Corsola. What's a potato princess? You talking about me, Noosh? Uh, hey, Wendy. Clearance section on your website, such a godsend when I placed my order. There was so much good stuff on there. <laughs> yeah, there's not as much now, because thankfully, some of it sold out. My bag bundle to the UK came after seven days. That's fast, damn. Where I just packed that order. <laughs> okay, next is Ashley's, which had notepad, dainty flower notepad, and dainty flower washi. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I swear it's right there. Okay, I can like kind of fit two in this sleeve, but it's toy. <laughs> Normally I don't even bother trying, but we got the time. We got the time. The postal service said expedite Bailey J packages. Yeah. I called them up and I was like, you better send out my package fast. Cause my store is, deserves better treatment than everyone else's. Got it. Oh, I just heard it rip. I don't got it. Hey, Christian, you know that biscuit is yours, right? The sink's running. This biscuit, oh, this biscuit is all yours. No. <laughs> hey, Christian. Yeah? You know that biscuit is yours, right? You saw the biscuit? Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't want it to go bad. Taste the biscuit. <laughs> Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Send the biscuit to me if he ain't eating it. <laughs> I was like, it's been a couple days. He hasn't touched it. Like, does he think it's mine? He did, I guess, didn't realize we even had biscuits left. It's that big, bright orange box in the fridge. <laughs> okay. This will not really fit on top of this in a VHS box. So we're going to go square. I'll probably fold some boxes at some point today. You're so cute. You're so cute. Check my package sent email. Yep, seven days. If you're in Canada, you're lucky because it's closer, so better chance to get it before Christmas. I feel like Canada Post is like all over the place with shipping time. Sometimes they're like. It's there in two days. I mean, there is obviously expedited parcel versus regular parcel, but. <laughs> I 
sometimes I swear it's like, well, I mean, usually you'll get it from anywhere within a week. Like the stuff I get coming from Quebec takes a week. But that's not Canada Post, I guess. But I'm just saying I've had stuff that took a while. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> He's carrying up like the garbage can has an insert in it. And I just like when I, the garbage can is for cat litter, for scooped cat litter. All their poopies and peepees. And so the bag would just rip if you lifted it out because it's like full of bajillion pounds of cat litter. So we just leave it in the garbage pail insert. And so I like had taken the insert out last night and set it on the ground by the embroidery door <laughs> being like, you Christian, take it up for me. <laughs> I didn't say it, but it was implied. So he just took it up. I could hear him grunting and I'm like, what is he doing? He was lifting it. It's hard to get it out of the garbage can because it just has like the thinnest plastic lip. And so like you got like 50 pounds of cat litter on the tips of your fingers and you're like, ugh. Bailey secretly wants it. Hey, I'll always take a biscuit. But also it's just gonna get all ick if it sits too long. I've also ordered a crew neck strawberry sweater in pink with chest and arm of ready was expensive, but it's a one of a kind item. Eee! Thank you so much, Teresa. Ooh, okay, course look keeps falling. You are banned from sitting on the monitor. On my vacation, I used your shopping bags, got many compliments. I told them how to get some. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, apparently a lot of people get compliments on their bags. And my family's frequently complimented, as am I when I use them out and about, so. Although I never, when people compliment them, I usually just say thanks. I'm too scared to be like, thanks, they're mine, I sell them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I know Christian's mom does a lot of groundwork. She's even got some business cards to give out. She's like getting all her friends hooked on the bags and stuff. <laughs> getting me those sales. <gasps> that reminds me, I have to set aside a, I gotta bring this. Uh, is that the only thing I gotta, I gotta bring some stuff for my mom too. My mom requested a sweater from me, but that was like, I swear that was like forever ago. Cause we hadn't actually had any made yet for Luna Moth, I think. Let me see what that was. See if we even have one. Cause I can't remember if it was hoodie or crew. Oh. Wait, was it before? Did I already bring her? No, I. Mm. Let me just text her. Cause it seems like we, we messaged each other before Thanksgiving, which means I saw her on Thanksgiving and could have brought it then, but I don't think I did. Okay. Yeah, we definitely messaged me about it before Thanksgiving. Although, did I have them made before Thanksgiving? Wait, maybe that's why I didn't. Maybe we just didn't have any made. Cause I, yeah, that's probably what happened. Cause Thanksgiving was October 10th. 
Right. Okay, anyway. So much to coordinate. <sighs> yeah, I do use clumping litter. And it clumps so much better here in Calgary compared to Vancouver because it's not as humid here. Okay, anyway, Kaylee. Ducky pin, blank white straub. I would love your business card. I always end up with extras. It could be like a free add-on you can add to your order or something. All orders placed today. No. <laughs> okay. I need to go up a box size. I don't have any of that one folded. This is one of the easier ones to fold. For some reason, this box depth is really easy to fold for both the rectangle and square. <laughs> like you don't even really need to pre-crease it. Oof, hate the noises. So we're gonna go sketchbook and then protective chipboard. Freebie, thank you, and ducky. Have you decorated your tree yet? No. I was going to the other day and then I ended up just doing a bunch of other decor stuff and like stringing up a bunch of sets of lights. So it's looking ultra festive, but I still need to do the ornaments. I really just have the ornaments. I've just set out a little three piece village, like that white and gold village we got from Christian's grandparents. Although that's gonna take like two seconds. And then we have the small white Christmas tree, which usually is in this room. Don't know if I'll set it up or not, but if I'm gonna, I should do it soon. I don't know. Bailey J, a Bailey MLM company. <laughs> I didn't think about shipping the shirt directly to mother-in-law. If I send you the order number and address, can you change the shipping address? If it's, well, where? <laughs> it depends on the circumstances of the order. Like if it's gonna cost me a bunch extra to ship it, then you would have to pay more. But. If it's like, US to US address change, that's fine. If it's across Canada, that's not fine. <laughs> Oklahoma instead of Georgia. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Shoot me an email with a new address and your order number. But also if it was someone where like they already qualified for free shipping, then it wouldn't matter if it was like more expensive because <laughs> either way they qualify for free happy holidays from broker lake insurance okay why'd you email me that <laughs> That reminds me of this time. Okay, because I have like a virtual mailbox because I don't want my address public, but when you incorporate your business's address has to be public. And so I just got like a virtual office address that's actually just a UPS store. And so if they get any mail on my behalf, they can forward it to me. Although I don't typically get stuff sent there, but for some reason something got sent there last year. They're like, oh, there's some mail here. Do you want us to forward it to you? So I said yes. And then they charged me like $16 for the forwarding fee or something like that. And then I get the mail and it's like a Christmas card from my accountant. And I was like, oh my God, I just spent like 
all this money to forward a Christmas card from my accountant to myself. Oh God. I should have just had them open it because that's an option too. They can like open it and scan it. Although there's a fee for that too, but like. <laughs> I was like, oh, it must be some business document if it went there. <laughs> uh, wait, what mailbox am I in right now? I'm on the right one. I have to change my picture. Still got the bunny photo. I can't do that from this computer though. Eh, eh. Well, maybe I have the picture in my Google Drive somewhere actually. <sighs> my computer's. Oh. Maybe I'm on the wrong account. Yes, I am. My computer's. There it is. My pictures. What? What are these folders? Okay, wait, drawings. <laughs> Or was it under, was, is branding under drawings? It's a new folder, so I don't know where it is. There it is. Bailey J. It doesn't help that it's not showing me like thumbnails for everything. Okay, list view, grid layout, there we go. Hey, this is all bunny. Okay, there. It's in the branding folder, but not the Bailey J folder. Let's download this. I'm sure there was a there's a way to upload a photo directly from Google Drive, but I would struggle to find it. When I said casual stream, I meant it. I'm updating my email profile photo. Save. Now it's a picture of me. Okay. I haven't gotten an email. You're emailing support at baileyj.com? In the meantime, I will pack this one for Destry. Going to Manitoba. She's from Manitoba. No pad bundle and planner pad bundle. Two. Three. That's a lot of paper products. I present to you a gift. Leslie, thank you for gifting 10 memberships. Leslie always gifting. Leslie Santa confirmed. Hey Lydian. Hey Lisette. Idealize. I haven't worn headphones for months because I had fresh piercings and they took so long to heal that I forgot headphones are even an option and I just put mine on and I missed them. <laughs> How can I do the gamble thing? I win on lower amounts. Like I'll win on 300 but lose on 2000. It's a scam. How do you handle return address? Uh, it just goes to my local post office, which I kind of had to like beg them to let me do. <laughs> Well, cause I would just use a flex delivery address, which is just like a digital PO box. And that's what I did in Vancouver. And then here they were like, told me off for that. They're like, you can't use your flex delivery address as a return address. And I was like, 
weird. Like I've been doing that for like a couple of years at least. <gasps> the cats are just getting into a spat and they slammed into my glass display case. Bibish, you okay? Oh my God. Anyway, so then I was like, okay, well then I'll get a physical PO box. And they're like, you can only accept letters to your PO box. Like they don't have any of the big PO boxes you can accept parcels to. And I was like, what the fuck is the point of a PO box? <laughs> And I was like, it would just be for like a return address. Like I don't get that many packages back. And they were like, okay. Can't get packages to your flex delivery. Can't get packages to a PO box. Then where, what are my options? Like you're the post office. <laughs> Got a new tattoo yesterday. It's so itchy. <laughs> What's the tattoo of? Been looking for a while, thought I'd say hi, everyone. <laughs> Tiny one room office, yeah. But there would need to be like a mail drop slot or something where it's like mailman put packages here. <laughs> Just... Cause like I wouldn't be there to accept any packages. What's also nice about flex delivery is they send you an email when you have a package. And so that was nice. I'd be like, oh, I got a return. I'll go get it. Whereas with my PO box, I don't know if I have a return. So like I would have to go there every week to see just in case there was a return there for me. It's like the flex delivery was just the perfect solution. So I don't know why this particular Canada Post won't let me do that. Unless it was like a policy change that they're cracking down on. I don't know. Actually, no, this will go on top. <laughs> Everyone survived the heist. Woo! Is there a mushy out there? I'm not gonna get you. I'm just creeping. I need my footage. I'm trying to film a whole vlog between today and tomorrow, but tomorrow I need to like edit two vlogs. <laughs> so I'm like, we're including the one I'm filming right now. I'm like, so when am I get, when am I getting content? I'm live streaming one day and then I'm editing two vlogs the next day. <laughs> Email sent with new shipping address, ordered the shirt this morning. Hope it's in time. I haven't packaged any sweater orders yet, so I think you're good. And I checked before this one to make sure. <laughs> I saw Manitoba and I was like, okay, this is not that order. It's making me 
burp. Can I do split screen? Usually I bring some like one thing on one monitor. Eh. Like it's not really letting me. Usually I do one monitor and the other for this type of thing. But I don't want you to see it. Okay. Nobody look at what my fingers are typing. <laughs> Uh, Oklahoma's okay, I think. Makes sense what other state would be okay. For the abbreviation, not A-okay. <laughs> more short like shorter writing a shorter message slightly than usual because you're here in stream but I still felt the need to reply <laughs> to the email <laughs> okay I'm just gonna reload ship station because it shows I have three orders left but that's because it hasn't updated since 11 in the morning Apparently my mom got my brother a gaming chair for Christmas and it shipped in its regular box. So it's a good thing I was the one to answer the door. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they carry boxes that are any bigger. They already come in like their own huge box. It reminds me of this viral video that circulates of that girl coming home with her dad and there's a huge Barbie play set or something on the front porch and she's like, woo! <laughs> and he's like, oh crap. Clipped that to send to the governor of Oklahoma so Bailey can get the key to the state and a special holiday in her honor. And does anyone have inkjet printer recommendations? My Canon inkjet printer died. I'm in the market for a new printer. I know a lot of people use Epson EcoTank. I haven't tried it personally, but... Okay, there were nine new orders when I refreshed on top of the three. So, next is for Gaseal, if I'm saying that correctly. Sticker bundle. Wait, are there any other stickers? No, okay, then we'll grab a sealed sticker bundle. Video game washi. Mail cat washi. Planner pad bundle. crummy. It's like shreds from the chipboard. Get off there. Strawberry washi tape. Medium pink hoodie. Chest only. All right, I gotta dive into these bins here. <laughs> I don't really know what's what, but there's only three sizes for the most part. Like there are others way in the back, like just the one of each I kept as extras, but for what's selling today. Wait, did I say hoodie or crew neck? Hoodie. 
medium pink hoodie. Oh, God. Sleeve, sleeve, sleeve. What's this one? XL. Oh, right. Okay. Uh. <laughs> sleeve. <laughs> Where the fuck? Where is it? Where is it? I swear to God. That's a small. Uh, maybe it's in the top bin. Buried under the crew necks. Wait, wait. Oh. One bin down, there's more. Oh. Oh, I could have just been reaching in this bin the whole time. <laughs> Do you have snow? It's going to be a snowless Christmas here in Saskatoon, and I'm mad about it. It's not forecast to snow, possibly. I mean, they can't really know for sure this far out. We did just get snow like four or five days ago. Yeah, because it was like Thursday. I remember talking about, no, it would have been Friday because I remember talking about it in the Saturday stream. I was going to say, I talked about it in the Friday stream. There was no Friday stream. But, yeah, we had no snow like all November. Although it did snow before Halloween. Had a good dumping. And then it all melted. And there are a couple times where it snowed and just all melted right away. And then nothing till now. And it was a pretty good amount too. Like it's white out there. Although where I shoveled a path out to the walking path, it's dry grass. Check ink lid thing. Oh, like for my um, inkwell? Yeah, so a lot of, I should have followed up on that in the vlog. A lot of people suggested that the, the little dip in the inkwell is for the lid, but it doesn't fit in there. Cause like it's bowl shaped. It's not like it goes straight down or anything. And so like the cap doesn't rest in there. It's like, kind of rolls around. Someone mentioned sand, like way back in the day, people would use sand to dry the ink on their papers or something. Eco tank inks at Costco. Ooh. <sighs> I don't think that's going to be flat enough for a box. Well, it will still be a box, but it'll be a bigger box. <gasps> oh, babies, did you run into the glass display case? So sad. My inner thighs are hurt. Okay, I got that like exercise hula hoop thing. Day one, I was like, hmm, I don't think this is like that much of a workout. Like you'd really have to go at it for a long time. Cause I did half an hour, like a little over half an hour. And then I did it again this, the second day and I could like really feel it in my inner thighs. <laughs> I was like, isn't this supposed to be a core workout? <laughs> but like you're planting your feet and then wiggling around. So like your thighs are getting a good workout too. 
and I still feel the burn. And I didn't use it this morning because I had a dentist appointment at eight in the morning. And so I like woke up, showered and left. But like, I'm feeling the burn. It kind of like hit the box and then jammed. Okay. Let's try like a six inch piece. Okay. Okay. feel it when I bend down. I feel it in my butt cheeks too when I bend down. Did they find any cavities? Nope. They never have and hopefully never will. <laughs> But my gums were bleeding a bit in a couple spots. And they said they could tell I clench my teeth a lot. And I'm like, I don't know, like, I guess. Like I catch myself clenching during the daytime and I definitely do it sometimes at night because I wake up with sore teeth. But that's not like all the time. But I don't actually know how much because like if I'm sleeping, how am I supposed to know? But they, it seemed like it was a, they could tell there was a decent amount of clenching. And also the dentist is like, the dentist, <laughs> the dentist clocked my sleep apnea. <laughs> She's like, do you snore at night? Cause I think you might have sleep apnea. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> How do you know that? Well, I think it was the clenching was part of the sign of it. Well, I watch your vlogs, huge fan. <laughs> oh God, could you imagine? I saw in your video, you mentioned uh, sleep apnea. <laughs> oh, I H sealed it. Usually I go like this and then I do a diagonal across the bottom, but I guess, well, I still want the diagonal, but you don't always go for the H seal. Okay, sturdy. I'm back, got into working out. It's my third, third day. Every muscle in my body hurts. <laughs> hey, it's technically day three for me too, although I didn't work out today. I was taking care of my health in other ways at the dentist. <laughs> Why is one corner cut down so far? It's like cut down to the second notch. And also this corner is not really cut, is it? Christian, this is a write up. This is a write up. <sighs> Do your face cheeks hurt in the morning ever? No, it will hurt like at the gums, like under my teeth. I've caught myself aggressively chomping like. <laughs> and that's how I bit my tongue a few times in my sleep. <laughs> Maybe I should have brought that up. Although it hasn't happened for in a little bit. Just 
got back from the dentist, my whole right side of my mouth is numb. Had prep for a crown today, I'm sore. I just had like scaling, fluoride, you know. Although they did have to do x-rays. And I did, we don't have insurance anymore now that Christian works for me, because I used to just have insurance through his work. And so now I'm like, it was $469. What the crusty Tumblr post about Leaky? Wait, what did Leaky say? And wait, Andrea, thank you for the six months. I don't think that has come through yet, but thank you. Oh God, Bronwyn. <laughs> Get my CPAP a few days after Christmas. Not something I thought I would need at this age, but if it helps, I'm happy to use it. I like low-key wanted one before I had my sleep study. I was just like, although to be fair, I was like in a rough state and I was like, just give it to me. I was like, I hope they find that it is sleep apnea so they can just give me CPAP and I'll be on my way. Although it's not that easy. A lot of people struggle with their machines, but anyway. But then when it was just mild, I was like, oh. <laughs> like if it was at least moderate, I would have totally got one, but I'm just like, mild. And so sleeping with the wedge has helped a lot. I still have like other sleep issues, like can't always fall asleep quickly which has been a little worse the last couple weeks, but. I'm just like too aware that I'm falling asleep and then I won't fall asleep. <laughs> I was like trying to trick my mind last night to not think of anything or just like let it think of random things. But then I'd be like, oh, I just had like a string of random almost entering dream state thoughts that's good but then because i'm acknowledging it i'm like oh now i'm awake <laughs> you can't acknowledge it you gotta just fall asleep i haven't tried melatonin gummies It was about their dentist being Chris Evans' dad. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> if it's the same post we're thinking of where the person's talking about how they're gonna go see the new Captain America movie and the guy's like, oh, my son's in that. And then finds out, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he's in it. Oh, he's in it all right. Why do you not do shows anymore? Like conventions? The pandemic put a stop to that. And I just haven't really bothered with it since. Ooh. I was, I mean, I signed up for one last year, but then we ended up going to Vegas. And so I can't, I withdrew my application. I didn't even know if I was approved for a table at that point or not, but I just withdrew the application. So I was like, well, if I had to choose between that or going to Vegas with a group of my friends. I'm gonna go to Vegas with a group of my friends. Plus my sister lives there. And I would need a whole bunch of new stuff. Like all my banners and stuff, it's all my old artwork. I feel like there's at least one or two people who've gotten a strawberry notepad as part of their plant or their notepad bundle when they're not supposed to because I just grab them and I'm like doo -doo 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 -doo. So if you get an extra notepad, you're welcome. So yeah, it's like everything from like my old ass square reader. Does that still work? I think I have to make a new square account because I think it was closed. Plus everything was linked to like my personal bank account before. Like I'd have to redo all that. New banners and I would need like displays because I wouldn't use the old like flimsy. I don't even have that thing anymore. That backdrop stand I would use. 
I would need like all new table display stuff. So, like I'd have to invest a significant amount of money into it. And at that point it's like, that's only gonna be worth it if I'm doing multiple conventions a year. So I'm like, do I, am I really, do I really wanna get back into it that much? Or like, like I'm content just doing the online thing. I don't like need the in-person sales to make ends meet. But it is fun in a way, but it's also a lot of extra work and like there's so much expenses that go into it that it's like, is it worth it in the end? Especially if you go out of town. Your hair's getting so long. Are you still using henna dye? Do you think that's what made it so healthy? Tell us your secret. <laughs> it is, I still do use the henna. And I don't know if it's the henna in particular, but more so the lack of any other hair dye that's making it not break. Like I'm not bleaching it. I haven't done any box dye, although I'm not like 100% happy with the color. I wish it was like a pinky red, you know, not an orangey red. But also the color will deepen as I cut off my previously lightened ends because like my tips are lighter than the upper hair. This is kind of deceptive what's showing on camera. It's a little orangier, not so red. But, um, I mean, even then it's still kind of orangey up here, but it's better, I guess. As it grows, it'll deepen a little bit. Need a second husband to help with your shop. Hey, Becca. <laughs> You're a mean one, Bailey J. As someone fighting a gnarly case of COVID right now can confirm lady. it's still alive and well. You are being very mean to all you've ever seen, Bailey J. But I guess that's the Bailey J way. A purple red would work. I mean, that's what I'm using is burgundy, which is a purple red. But it's still more red than purple. I almost need additional purple. Or I've debated just going for like a mahogany henna. Just go brown instead of trying to get those reddish tones. Cause I feel like they're always gonna be a bit orange cause it's henna. If I just go with like, I mean, there's probably still gonna be some orange to it if it, even if it's like a mahogany, but just go brown instead of going like super warm brown. Although well, I think I still have a pack of, wait, I gotta check that. Cause I wanna dye my hair soon before Christmas. <laughs> the roots are growing out. Not that my family cares. Okay, yeah, I do, wait, is this one? I have one pack of burgundy left. Cause it was a two pack, so there's one left. But then the question is, do I keep going with burgundy or just go like mahogany? Okay, where was I? Notepad bundle, one, two, three, four, five. Now oh, this one. I'm like, which one's missing? Okay, the discounted. Okay, so we're gonna do the customs form for this one. Oh, there's two sweatshirts in this order. And this is for Allison, by the way. So the XL design slightly offset. This one's like kind of barely B grade. So it's not as discounted as some of the other ones. Like usually the B grade's half off. And then if it's really bad, it's even more than half off. And if it's like not too bad, it's more like 30% off. Like a $60 would become a 40. Um, this one's pretty good. Like this was technically in our A grade pile last time. And then as I was packing orders, I was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, mm. kind of want this to be a B grade, but it's kind of like B plus, B plus.
Hey Rio. What is this song? Well, I wasn't even listening to it, but we are listening to Lo-Fi Girl Christmas Lo-Fi. Okay, so there's that one. And then four dainty on oh, the squat. I can feel it so much in my thighs and my butt. Oh my God. At least my left butt cheek. For some reason, not the right butt cheek. I do make sure to hula hoop in both directions. Anyway. <laughs> well, the, the second time I used it, I tried to engage my core more because I'm like, it's gonna be more of a thigh workout unless you like intentionally flex your abs. So I'm trying to be. What are you talking about? Okay, wait, XL pink crew neck, chest only. Oh, the Mean Bailey song. Oh yeah. It's like the Grinch, but Perry version from the Bailey, one of the Bailey J movies, the Christmas special. Okay, and Dainty Flower Washi. <laughs> Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Have you ever thought of trying an electric bed? Actually, yes. Although I do love our mattress. And like, what would we do with our mattress? Store it somewhere, and then we have guests just flop it out into the basement here. <laughs> Wrap it up in plastic in the garage. But that would be nice because like my wedge is not very soft. And so I have it under our mattress, but it's a king size mattress. So the mattress is like, I'm a laying a little crooked. <laughs> I at least first wanted to see if the wedge actually works in long term, cause like, and I'll probably still stick with the wedge for at least a while. Uh, curious if my crew neck will be packed on the stream. Yes, you're just a few orders down the list. Uh. Cause I'm, I'm totally, well, I was caught up aside from 11 orders when the stream started. So we're back in real time here. Sorry. <laughs> my butt cheek. Christian, can you massage this knot out of my butt cheek? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. Let's grab an uncut box. <laughs> um, Is this a notepad box? No. That's a sketchbook box. I was gonna say the notepad boxes are the same size as like my biggest box. But I don't know if I need the biggest. I might just need an uncut multi-depth. Uh, actually no. I think we will, well, yeah. Yeah, get one of the big boys. Wherever they are. I'm gonna probably save some of my notepad boxes, but not too many because that's just too many. I don't need this box size that often. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the same size. Yeah. So we are going to H seal.
It's too deep. Huh. Crap. Now I got this giant ass box. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. There we go. Get the air out of that sweater. <sighs> oh wait, thank you cards. Ten hours later. But that's good. We want it to take a long time. Expedited Parcel USA. My gums hurt a little bit. From the dentist. Oh wait, oop, the sweatshirt. Customs, okay. Oh wait, I can just delete that. There's another sweatshirt, so we'll just hit quantity two on this one. Boom. Yeah, I made the ducky sticker sheet of the next freebie just because I have a lot. And because I ran out of my last freebie sticker and I'm like, uh, like I have leftover of these duckies, which were the previous freebie, but I just wanted to move on to something else. In the new year, I'll have some, a new proper freebie. your favorite Christmas dinner slash dessert item you look forward to every year? I mean, ever since I got into like cranberry sauce, I just want the cranberry like with turkey, paired with the turkey. I'm just like, ugh. And I like just, I mean, I'll eat any cranberry sauce, but I especially like just the canned jellied cranberry. Mmm. <laughs> And my mom makes these ginger cookies. They're kind of like a ginger snap, but it's ginger soft. And there's raisins in them, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's making some. Well, she already made some for this year. <laughs> Lost in the sauce. Canned cranberry sauce is superior. There's just something about it. And like the stovetop stuffing, I just, I guess it'd be dressing. Some people say dressing is when it's not in the turkey. Whatever, did. Anyway, <laughs> for Marsha, strawberry notepad. 
Strawberry Warshi. XL Pink Crew, chest only. So this can all go inside. I feel like I should make little stickers that say items inside hoodie or like items inside sweatshirt. Something like that. <laughs> they're a sneaky in there. They're a little sneaky in there. Oh yes, this is yours. Lucky bug. Wait, that can stay on the outside. Trying to be like inside, but not right where the fold is, because otherwise it's like exposed to the outer edge. It's got to be somewhere where it's surrounded on all three sides. Hey, kitty rose. Kitty, kitty. No, don't, because when you open the package, they hide and are a nice surprise. I had a free pack. A mini Haribo inside a package once, nearly threw it out, but checked the envelope and it fell out. <laughs> well, it's different when it's something someone actually purchases. <laughs> like if it's a freebie, sure, that's nice. <laughs> I have had emails being like, I'm missing stuff. And then they're like, oop, never mind. <laughs> Please create a Fortnite Lego world to play with your peeps. That us. <laughs> no. I don't have time for more games. I got enough games. Speaking of which. <laughs> I'm like really close to doing like my monthly dailies. Well, it's like 20 or 21 days or something. I don't have any new dailies for today yet. So I realized the time it resets is always different for your dailies. So I wonder if it's possible to fall behind and like miss a day. Cause then even though I'm playing every day, if I'm like miss, if it's shifting, eventually it'll shift like over 21 days. I might only have 20 days of dailies is what I'm trying to say. And will I get enough points? Wait, this will give me six. Oh no, I should be okay. As long as it's kind of unclear if level 14 is the last level. Cause there's, one through 14 for rewards. And then there's like another gap and then a treasure chest. So is that level 15 or is that part of level 14? Let's find out actually, because when I collect this can, I think I have enough. So I didn't even have to make all these coral fries. Or wait, or did it already add this 600? Oh. What? Oh, I thought that was going to get us over the threshold. Okay, we got, we need... That's only another 58 coral fries. Dude, you know how much coral that is? Oh shit, I forgot to plant something new before the stream. I planted like a little five minute crop. Like, come on, let's plant something that actually takes a couple hours. Let's do peppers. And I don't have enough. to dispatch. I can't collect any more coral in this area because I've already collected all the coral, but I can send Gary out to get me coral. But I need 65 energy for that. So just watching some ads for energy. I'm 11 or 12, keep watching ads to get the HP. I don't know if they updated the game or if at a certain level they restrict you, but like I can't watch ads the same way I used to. Cause it used to be if you clicked on an item and you were short 
either 15 energy or fewer, it would prompt you to watch an ad. Or if you just clicked on like the plus sign by the energy icon, you could watch an ad. And it would let you do that a lot. It wasn't unlimited, but you could do it a lot, a lot. And then I just randomly lost the ability to do that. I was like, did they update the game or am I just too high level for that? Although I will say, once you get to like New Kelp City, there's a TV where you can watch an ad there. And when I went to Glove World, there's two TVs, but like they're never there half the time. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> they're rarely there. Right now, one TV was there. Where's the other one? I don't know. Some days there's like hardly any appearances. And I'm like, is it dependent on how much energy you spend? Cause sometimes I'm spending a lot of energy and the TVs are not reappearing. So I just don't know. I don't know. Okay, I actually have two pets, so I'll send out Gary for Coral, but I also want to send out my little rock dude. Ugh, if I can get at least to 20, oh, if I grab these. Got that boat that produces some energy. Okay, and then use my candy squeeze. All right, let's send Mr. Rock out for kelp also, cause I'm trying to make those, or coral, sorry, cause I'm trying to make coral fries. There, got eight coral fries queued up. Maybe some cupcakes too. Since I'm streaming. Once a member, always a member. What the hell? Oh. I thought I was accidentally clicking the same CNET shop over and over again. I was like, I'm trying to click the second one. They just both had stuff in them. Playing games at work. It's what I do. Welcome to my life. Thank you for the six months. Hey, Lily. Oh God, Tommy. <laughs> I've been playing that. I'm in the Atlantis world right now and those TVs really help. Yeah. Cause Atlantis, Atlantis just has one, I think. Once a but member, Glove World's a got two TVs. But it might as well just be one. Cause I swear Atlantis, I was, that TV was like almost always there. Although at a certain point, the TV just stopped appearing as much in Atlantis. And I was like, hmm. Is it cause I officially cleared the story? Cause I like to stay in that area and just like farm resources before I officially leave. But I don't know. I don't understand how the TV reappearance works. It makes no sense. Eric, thank you for the seven months. We having a Popeye's moment? No. In Probably some HelloFresh later. I present to you a gift. A gift. Late, <laughs> Lady Lucky Bug with the 10 gifted. Thank you. What happens when the other place closes? Is it forever? Yeah, it's forever. They don't let you go back. And I don't understand the point of that. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I hardly cleared out jellyfish fields. <laughs> But I was like starved for energy. I feel like I have more ways to get energy now. So it's a little easier to clear out a, an area. Okay, for Anthony, XL pink hoodie, chest and sleeves. How are my legs more sore today compared to yesterday? What's going on? Wait, this is just regular hoodie. This is not chest and sleeves. Ugh. Like some hoodie. They're all over the place. game is this? 
SpongeBob Adventures in a Jam. Dotted white sketchbook. Strawberry weekly planner pad. Counters displaying the total number of orders I have received in my shop since opening. And like since forever. Since the dawn of time. <clears throat> Hey, Cherry. Also hate that I have to leave the past area. I needed something from the jellyfish area. Okay, this can go in a multi-depth box. to get it in the way of the tape dispensing. There's a little add-on you can get that it's a little piece of plastic that clips on and shoots your tape upwards. It's like 200 bucks so, for a little piece of plastic. Usually I don't need it but for these tall ones it would be nice. Uh, for my shorter pieces I don't need it. Need to eat, but have no inspiration. <laughs> hey, Fallen Rain. Did they send you an email to sponsor? You already know. I've had offers in the past, but like I didn't use them in the past, so I declined. Now I'm like, okay, come back. I mean, I'm sure I could search out like agencies that do sponsorships or like ones I've worked with in the past. Like maybe I, through that agency, I did a different sponsorship. It's like, I know they got HelloFresh. <laughs> rain, rain, don't go away. But you can also come again another day, also, in addition to staying here. Lower back still sore from work and stuff. Too much twerking. Working and twerking. Teresa, we're on to yours. Medium pink crew, chest and sleeves. Oh, guess I could stick the label on. Medium pink crew, chest and sleeves. What is this? Oh, just a little fuzzy, okay. Doot, doot, doot. In goes. First the fleshy bit, it sticks. Counter is from Shopify. This 
speaking of Shopify, where's the Shopify sponsorship? I see other people getting them. <laughs> have you tried any other meal prep companies? All seem to have intro specials. Haven't tried anything else, no. I swear I just cut my hair, but it's already brushing my shoulders again. And I'm just like, please, can you stay a cute length for more than a week? It's the curse of short hair. Would you recommend getting the Shopify counter? I mean, it's purely a novelty thing, so it's hard to say yes or no. I think it's just fun. If you feel like you would find it amusing, then yeah, get it. <laughs> and the company that does those, it's like Smirl, Smirl. <laughs> it's like with three eyes. S M I I I R L. Something like that. They do it for all kinds of things. Uh huh. Uh, uh, uh. I just gotta quickly send something. Again. 
<laughs> Sorry. There's an email from the person who got that B grade Ludomoth. <laughs> They're like, I couldn't figure out how to comment while I was in Burger King drive thru, but that. But what fast service? You should have charged $59 for that Lunamoth Overlay. There we go. Okay. Just gotta keep up with those emails, you know? So one thing that someone emailed me about a few days ago, they ordered, they were an order from the US. So this didn't directly affect them, but they noticed it and notified me is that the customs form said that their notepad was actually a sweatshirt. So when I was putting in the customs info for like the list of sweatshirts, I accidentally also grabbed the mail cat notepad and put its customs info as a sweatshirt. So for the US orders, it doesn't make a difference because they don't have to pay customs. But for other international destinations, it could affect if you bought just like, just a mail cat notepad, not as part of a bundle, but like solo. Because then your declared value of your package is higher than what it should be. And you would end up paying more in customs fees. So if that happens to you, Send me like a picture like of the bill with, I need some kind of proof that it's a bill for my order. Like usually they stick a, a sticker on the box or something saying like this amount of customs due and I'll refund you. I've had two people hit by it so far. So if you're a non-US international and you ordered a mail cat notepad not as part of a bundle. I also say this in the vlog, but the vlog's not out yet. So <laughs> might as well say it here too. <sighs> Do you have any favorite holiday movies? Oh yeah, we were talking about this the other day. I don't have like, well, when I was a kid, I kind of had my go-to's. We'd always watch the animated Grinch, like the original one. And we also had, a VHS recording like taped from the TV of that old Frosty the Snowman cartoon. You know, the happy birthday one. <laughs> and I feel like I watched the Santa Claus a lot too. Okay, sun's coming in. Sun's moving to window number two. Close the blinds. Close the trunk. Curtains, not blinds. The blinds are too heavy. <laughs> I've never actually seen Die Hard. <laughs> Have you seen the new Trolls movie? No. I haven't seen any of the Trolls movies. Do you think Die Hard is a Christmas movie? I have not seen it. From what I've heard, it's not Christmas themed, but it takes place over Christmas. I don't know, I haven't seen it. What if we don't want a refund? Then don't email me about it, I guess. <laughs> but like I'll refund the, the, the customs fee. Next for Karen, we have the 
discounted 3x plum crew. Where are you? <laughs> Wait, did I have four? Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> it's literally one bit higher, but like, because of the glare, it looks like there was nothing in that bin. <laughs> it was not with the other plums. I've got like a B grade. I've got a stack of bins under the stairs that we're using for the B grades. Design offset. The green just goes kind of like out of the borders a little bit. A little bit of a gap under there. The green just a little offset. boring but I love Disney's A Christmas Carol. Always loved the year without a Santa Claus. I feel like I should watch some Christmassy stuff. Although when people are here I don't know if they're gonna want to do that but I know when Brooklyn's here we got to watch more JoJo's. We just watched some Monday night. <laughs> Lieki has returned. Had the stream muted for half an hour because I was on the phone with my mom. <laughs> oh god, it's so dark now. The curtain closed. Oop. Part you tear off to open the package just ripped a bit. Get the tape! Also, since the sun has moved, I can probably open up this window a bit. And maybe a little bit of that. Well, well, I don't know. that up a bit. Okay. Christmas movies are a weird concept for a Southern Hemispherean. <laughs> That was yours. Next is Sarah from New York State. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to grab more notepads. We need more video game. There's only one winter bun up there, too. Yeah, the bot will tell you the 
prompt to heist at the start of the heist. The prompt to join. It's eh. <laughs> not very well stocked, but <laughs> I mean, it might be enough for now. Hey, Willow. Now that stack is going to be the highest. Okay, notepad bundle for Sarah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One second, I'll fish alive. And medium pink crew, chest and sleeves. Medium pink crew. The sleeves. So if it was a few notepads, I would stick it inside the sweater. But I think we'll. This is just a crew, so I should be able to get away with the flat box. Although it is a bit lumpy on the bottom half. Sometimes it's like lumpy, skinny, or sometimes it's more uniform. So the lumpy side might be a bit of a problem, but we'll give it a try. you guys hear Andre Brower? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. <laughs> Captain Holt on Brooklyn Nine-Nine died on Monday. Yeah. Very sad. Do you prefer Home Alone 2 with the Trump edit? <laughs> I'm not that familiar with Home Alone. Like, I've, I haven't seen it since I was a kid. And I, then again, I, if even then, I didn't see it that much. Probably just saw bits and pieces on TV. Didn't know which was Home Alone, which was Home Alone 2. <laughs> By the way, hi, all been here a while, just lurking while working. It's Home Alone 2. Well, I don't know. I don't remember any of the details. I don't even know if I've seen them in full, to be honest. This next order is for Yang and we have a message. Can't believe your 10 year montage came out and I've been a part of so many years of your journey. Congrats, Bailey. Thank you for the endless company through the years. Aw, thank you. <laughs> 10 years of vlogging. Oof. Reading anything at the moment? Uh, still on Empire of Storms from the Throne of Glass series. I haven't touched it in a couple weeks. I kind of go through phases where I'm like, we'll read a few days in a row and then I don't touch it <laughs> for a while. Uh, all right, we have the discounted large pink crew with the bobbin thread showing. This is something that could kind of be colored in with Sharpie. Although you wouldn't have like an exact color match. Blah. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Just the small strawberry 
on the right hand side has some white bobbin. I've read the series nine times. Empire of Storms is a long book. Wait, is it? I don't, I have no frame of reference because I have the, the complete series as one Kindle document. And so it's like, <laughs> I have no clue how far in I am to the book because it counts the book as the whole series. But also they put Assassin's Blade last. So I've already like jumped to the end to read Assassin's Blade and then went back. And so it's like, you're this percent through the series. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Like, <laughs> 730, that's not that bad. It's long. Joining the stream to listen as I study for finals. Hey, Jenny. Hope your finals go well. I'm super excited to share. After losing my childhood cat a few months ago, I'm now officially all set to start fostering kittens next year. <gasps> Babies! Babies. It's gonna help so many little babies. Do you expect to, uh, or do you think you're the type to have some foster fails? <laughs> I feel like that would be me. Oh yeah, since this is a B grade, I gotta enter the thingy. Sweat, shirt, one, item value 30, harmonization 6110.1. One, no, it's 0.20. Okay. Akira is busy. Have an official VTuber account now. <laughs> so does this mean you're gonna be in the streams under the Akira account now. Not in the position to have foster fails right now. How my family is supportive of the foster, but they don't want another full-time cat in the house. Almost double Assassin's Blade. Well, Assassin's Blade's just some novellas. It's not that. What's the longest book? I thought Kingdom of Ash was the longest, based on what I've seen of the spines on TikTok, but I don't actually know. I'm not there yet. No spoilers, please. No spoilers. <laughs> okay, next order for Colleen. Hey, this is just like that other order. Notepad bundle and a medium crew. Chest and sleeves. Was the other one also with the sleeves? I think it... I can't remember. I suddenly <laughs> really want to like worship darkness and the devil. I don't know. I'm going to be fostering zero to 16 weeks. Ah, the tiny baby babies. Yes, but I think I might change my VTuber name to Fizzy. I always wanted to have a small business, but just for the packing orders and handling shipping, I think creating is fun too, but ooh, something about packing orders just does it for me. <laughs> I was gonna say we could work at a warehouse, but they don't do the fun packaging. They're just like... <laughs> Plus they gotta go fast. <laughs> Although there are distribution centers that specialize in 
packing for like small artist businesses. But maybe it's not as fun if it's not your own shop. I don't know. for Bailey if Christian needs a day off. <laughs> Work in the embroidery machines? <laughs> Although he does help me pick orders sometimes. Okay, the medium pink crew, chest and sleeve. Medium pink crew, chest and sleeve. Got one. want to do that for a paper crafting company. See all the goodies everyone's getting. <laughs> Stupidest and probably most asinine show ever, naked and afraid, no way it's worth the money. I've surprisingly never actually seen it. I would just see the commercials for it. I don't think I've actually seen an episode. <laughs> Kingdom of Ashes for sure the longest. The name Akira is really popular. Trying to get everything matched for my social media. So gonna have different name so all matches. How's ducky painting going? Ugh, it hasn't been going. It's just sitting there. The next thing I'll work on is just quickly finishing up that sunset drawing because I'm pretty close to being done. And then Ducky, we'll see. But I also feel like I don't want to live stream them anymore because I feel like I've drawn it out enough. So I'm like, okay, just get it done what, off stream kind of thing. But will Ducky even be touched before Christmas? Probably not because it's going to be chaos. Now for Paula, the small hole by wing tip medium. Next up is Crown of Midnight. E yeah, I don't know. I think maybe. <laughs> the last book, the one that came before Empire of Storms, I kept confusing with Crown of Midnight. It's like Queen of Shadows or something. And I'm like, that just sounds like Crown of Midnight. <laughs> so I keep mixing them up.
How do you get so good at art? What did you study? I want to get good too. Tips? I never had much for formal education, although I did go to school for animation for a while. It's all about practice. Like, I could be even better if I actually applied myself more. <laughs> but practice, do studies. Because if you only go by imagination, you won't really get anywhere. It's all got to be at least based in reality. Okay, next orders for Bailey. Bailey. Large pink crew chest and sleeves. Got him. Witch hat acrylic keychain, strawberry washi, and why, baby, why? Feel the burn. New merch ideas you're working on. Um, well, next up will probably be the Luna Moth collection, which I worked a bit on on stream, like cleaning up some of the artwork. Oh, and I made the washi. It's designed but not ordered. <laughs> So I need to design more of that stuff, like kind of finalize what I'm doing for Luna Moth because part of me wants to dial it back compared to my original plans. But also I'm like, well, if you just do like lower quantities of some things. Next for Catherine, two winter bones, notepads. Love the cat door so much. It's everything. <laughs> so amazing, I could never. That got mega views. Like, last I checked on Instagram, it was over 600,000. <laughs> and then TikTok sitting in like, mid or high 200s, which is my second most viewed TikTok ever. And it might eventually become number one. And then on Instagram reels, yes, blew all my records out of the water. <laughs> okay, two straw stickers, two ducky stickers. And dotted sketchbook winter bun sticker set. <laughs> Gotta reach through the packages. So it's two, four, six, eight. I'm gonna squeeze them into one of these again. <laughs> it just barely fits two notepads. Mm 
then the stickers. Cat videos will always be king. <laughs> yeah. And I do have a cat TikTok account, so like that video could have gone there. But it's also like a creative, crafty thing. Oh! <laughs> so, it should be like on my main account. <laughs> Sketchbook. These, these. Lils, Lils. Quiston, thank you for the seven months. Let's crank it up. I love the tulip wreath on the thank you cards. It's so cute. Went to get food, missed my sweater being packed, but rewound the stream and saw thanks. Yeah, I was like, Teresa. Then I'm looking in the comments. I'm like, I don't think she's here. <laughs> no, thank you, Bailey. Shh. and I'm looking out for a white poly mailer with my jumper in it. <laughs> Catherine's is going to Quebec. Okay, I might have to <laughs> bag some of these up. That was the last order on my list, but I just have to refresh. I know there's more because I can see them on Shopify, but it's got to update ship station. So they sync. It shows that there's seven more. One of them's got an alert. This order might be fraudulent. But why? You may receive a chargeback on this order. Why is this person a known chargebacker? Oh, is it because the shipping doesn't match the billing? Although why would that matter? does say it's their first order. Hmm. Eh, whatever. <laughs> it's a risk I'm willing to take. Did someone order a giant package? No. Okay. Next is Jasmine. Three Mr. Bun Bun Hollow. Okay, I was gonna move these packages out of the way. They're getting in the way of my <laughs> sticker grabbing. What's what are you doing over there, Lothi? It's dark again. Ah. Oh yeah, SpongeBob. <laughs> What I was gonna do was go to my camera and use it as a kiki cam. Uh. Wait, what? Is that her? This is a great kiki cam. Oh yeah, she is that black blob. Do you see her? Do you see her? <laughs> I have to angle it downwards though. 
Kiki Camp. She's that little black blob right there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what a great Kiki Camp. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. The very bottom box just looks big. <laughs> yeah. There's two sweaters in that one. Okay, I just gotta collect my coral and make more coral fries. And we're gonna have to dispatch for more coral, but I need some energy, so. Well, first let's check Glove World, see if either of the TVs are there. Ooh, that one is. The other's not, but we'll take one. Let that sit. Okay. Oh, I was like, I just saw the bag somewhere. Hey, Kezzy. Still going strong with the SpongeBob game? Yeah, I have a problem. The babies, they are eight years old. <gasps> why, baby, why? Better live at least another eight. You hear me, Missy? nice noise. Hell, the game's rebooting. It better give me. Don't make me rewatch the ad. Oh, I'm going. I did my time. Ugh, it didn't count. Something went wrong with the ad. Please try again later. Okay, let's go back to Bikini Bottom, then back to Glove World. All right, we're back in. It's an ad for Monopoly Go. Uh, let's actually do poly mailers next. Just keep these boxes set here for the next batch. Okay. Because the bag we have in the works is poly mailers. Yoohoo, got to my NLT. More coral, please. Give me all the coral, I need to make coral fries. 
now. I need more energy. Grab that one. And we'll do a candy or sugar squeeze cart. And then we can send our second pet out for coral also. I have 15 leftover energy, so I'm just gonna go grab some kelp. Because I also need kelp for the coral fries. Again. All's well. Now Jasmine's order. <laughs> Three hollow Mr. Bud Buds. Hey Blaze. Two cactus bun. Two hollow gouache mushroom. One strawberry notepad. A dainty flower washi tape. Video game. Washi tape, notepad bundle. Two, three, four, five, six. And a little ducky sticker sheet. Which I have been giving as the freebie, but since they're already getting one, I got these, which were lost for a long time. Someone actually ordered 10 of them and I didn't have enough to fully fulfill their order. And I was like, where the hell are the rest of the stickers? And then I recently found them. But we're down to three, including this one. So, actually let's vertically stack these. Hey, Madison. And then the stickers will go in their own. How are you today? Pretty good, how are you? So much bot in the comments right now. Oh, I'm gonna need the box that I haven't unfolded for. This one. Other than just waking up, I'm pretty good. <laughs> this is like the cutest piece, but it's gotta go on the bottom. So sad. Have you done your Christmas shopping yet? I've done most of it, but I do have a little bit more left to do. I'm trying to order a crew neck with sleeves, but it's still charging shipping. That's because those are $80. You have to spend at least 100 to get free shipping. Sad, not the prettiest thing down the bottom. <laughs> so I found absolute confirmation that you do have to chat to earn Bay Bucks. And then I think like 
becoming a member counts to her like it's supposed to but anyway because YouTube does not have a viewer list the same way Twitch does. Because the way it works on Twitch is the bot will scan the viewer list and then award those people points just for viewing. But if on YouTube there is no viewer list, so all the bot can do is see the usernames in chat and assign them accordingly. But then I wonder how that works. Like, how does it know? Because like two people can have the same username. So how does it know the difference? I don't know. In honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a What's the worst thing about having a small business is that the taxes part? Maybe? Yeah. Or like, just like, I mean, the taxes part is, it, there's a lot of just like figuring out what the hell to do, like what agencies you have to file with and like register with and who do you got to report to yearly? Like, it's like that kind of paperwork I think is worse. Teresa, thank you for gifting a membership. It's going to Rio. Lots of people ordering good gift ideas. <laughs> Hopefully this all arrives before Christmas. It's getting close. <laughs> Like, dude, just moving to Alberta from BC was like, I had no clue what to do. And I was like doing so much research, but then there's conflicting information. And then it's like, that was awful. <laughs> and the like yearly, like what is it called just registration no wait just like the annual filing for alberta is so expensive whereas like the federal annual filing it costs 12 dollars to file online alberta's like no you gotta come in person and it's like 90 dollars or something <laughs> I'm like what the hell because the, all the paperwork is like oh have any of like the shareholders or directors changed their like has is there any new are there any new directors or shareholders or do they have any new addresses? It's basically like, has any of this information changed? No. Okay, well, that'll be $90. <laughs> what the hell? Ever since COVID, I haven't been selling anything. My poor small shop like since the craze ended kind of thing. Cause I remember like during peak COVID, everyone's businesses were like doing well because people were at home all the time. So is it like kind of the post hype? Cause I know a lot of businesses are experiencing that. Even me, that was probably my best year. Maybe. Well, not like 2020. Actually, I don't remember. <laughs> it would have been actually 2021, but I guess that's still similar. Okay, why is this label not printing? Give it to me, give it to me. Before COVID, I lost all Patreon and sales once COVID hit. Interesting. Also sucky, because it's like the opposite of the trend. What the heck? In honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. Sarah, thank you for the five gifted memberships. So much generosity today. No, horny. Maybe some of that too, I don't know. We're horny for memberships, woo! <laughs> okay, bag bundle. <laughs> this is for Van. Strawberry Weekly Planner Pad. And medium sandstone crew neck chest. 
Christian. Get ready to have those bells jingled. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, couldn't do conventions. Yeah, if you rely a lot on the convention scene, that just got utterly destroyed. You're a mean one, Bailey J. You're a really nasty lady. You are being very mean to all you've ever seen, Bailey J. But I guess that's the Bailey J way. I'm a little ducky swimming in the water. I'm a little ducky swimming in the water. I'm a very tiny rocking in the distance. I'm a little ducky swimming in the water. Nice. This might fit in a box. She's evil, and she's killing people. Oh my god, Ingrid's gifting 20 memberships now. Ingrid, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Holy smokes. So many people here today. Wait, what's the view count at? I don't have that open. Poor Hundy. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's because of your viral TikTok. <laughs> I mean, I doubt the people who came across that are here. I know for but... damn well that like, most of the people in my live streams just do not take showers because they're just inferior and completely nasty. It's been around 400 most of the stream. Whoa. What was the TikTok? What the Kitty Arch. It did even, it got like triple the V the views on Instagram too. It really popped off on Instagram. I gotta be become a DIY TikToker to get the views. Bonus points if they're cat DIYs. We're gonna turn this whole house into a kitty oasis. <laughs> Next is for Amy. I need water. I need water. <sighs> Rude, I just showered. Listen, the Perry soundbite says most of my viewers. <laughs> Do you have anything else planned for today? Just relaxing for the rest of the day. I gotta get some gifts wrapped. Stop crying. It won't do any oh, good. And anyway, survivors you have tonight. a lot of work to do starting right now. So I will relax to watch Survivor, but then I got a lot of work to do starting right now. <laughs> All right, for Amy's. Thick or treat. Washi tape. Little ducky, B grade. Oop. Little lucky sticker, strawberry notepad, and a medium pink crew neck, chest only.
This will go Polly Mailer. Do you see the last episode of Squid? Yeah. I feel like it's too fresh to discuss. I don't want to spoil anything. Not put in a good spot. Good luck finding all your items in there. <laughs> Amy, if you seek your items, if you seek Amy, she's evil. Britney Spears, and anybody? she's killing people. Bailey J, the DIY queen. Hey, Long Longs. Hey, Inks. Not sure how I feel about many luck events. I mean, that's like mostly the whole show, though. Most of the show's luck, and then sometimes alliances. Which I guess is one way to play, like even out the playing field. It, it won't be like, oh, this person's more athletic, so they have an advantage, you know? Which is probably why they got rid of tug of war. Now for Cottage. We have Strawberry Notepad. Strawberry Blank White Sketchbook. Large, large pink crew, chest and sleeve. Large pink crew, chest and sleeve. Large pink crew. Ugh. With the sleeves. There. I would have chosen the right button. With situations like that too, it's like how much of that's predetermined versus just like the producers deciding. Same with like glass bridge because none of the, none of them are actually trap doors. So it's like, <laughs> production can totally just be like, oh, we want this person to make it through. <laughs> Although I feel like with something that has that much money on the line, you wouldn't really want to fuck with it because you don't want to open yourself up to lawsuits. Because if people can find any little crack, they might pursue something because they want their piece of the pie.
lawsuits. <laughs> lol suits. Lol. Lol, lol, lol. Will it fit? <laughs> mm, let's maybe just upgrade to a bigger box. Hey, August. Wonder what stories were overlooked, etc. A lot of the players are on TikTok posting videos, like kind of behind the scenes stuff that happened, things that didn't make it onto the show, like the part where they phone and then they give like a reward to the person who answers the phone. There were a bunch, there were like other rewards they didn't even show. Did you pack my order yet? I don't know, did you get a shipping confirmation? I didn't pack any for an August unless it's under a different name. I don't think I packed any for any August. winner hasn't gotten prize money. Well, that's pretty standard. You never get like any show like that. They don't get the prize money till after the show airs. One, to ensure they don't spoil anything, but two, you'd also just know who wins. Like, oh, this person suddenly has a lot of money. Well, clearly they won. <laughs> that's standard for any kind of award show like that, like a competition show. It would be like 30 days after the show airs or something like that. These are my favorite streams. centimeter side, not 17. Boop. Next is for cuddly. Please give the babies some smooches, it says. Give someone that much money, people will notice, yeah. Hey, Kylie. Mm, oh yeah, I was like, what's the name? For cuddly, right. Male cat washi. Medium pink crew with the sleeves. Medium crew with the sleeves. Medium crew with the sleeves. I'm a little lad who loves baby she cream. Counter is orders. Oh boy, smooching time. Oh, I was gonna put this in there. Shit. I mean, I can, it's just, it won't reseal nicely. It's 
so glad he switched from Twitch. It's been so nice getting to catch streams now. My doctor told me I eat too much cheese. I was like, what even is the point of living a longer life without cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Do I want to live an extra 10 years but be miserable and restrictive? No. Next is for Jennifer, weekly planner pad. And, well, strawberry, specifically. <laughs> Medium pink crew, chest and sleeve. That's the one we just grabbed. I can hardly reach this top area. <laughs> okay, none of those have sleeves. The hell? These are hoodies with sleeves. Oh, here's a crew. It's a little disorganized, I gotta say. I have sciatica and carpal tunnel, just use some deep gear cream and fell asleep for an hour without, oh, without pain, bliss. <laughs> Heat, not gear. I was like, is that a joint thing? Like gears as in your joints? Deep gear. Methinks it's almost snack time. Methinks. Why would I say that? Help. Oh my god, those millennial cringe videos are right. <laughs> They're right. Large, create and print label for Jennifer. Rep us millennial hard. <laughs> Next is for Kristen. Hey, B, it's me, Kristen, back again to buy my fourth sweater hoodie. Merry Christmas to you and Christian. <laughs> fourth one, thank you so much. You still here? I did just see you in chat before. <laughs> okay, we got. Oh, the one with the unknown stain on the sleeves. <laughs> may or may not wash out, I don't know. <laughs> Is it machine oil from when the sweater was sewn? Is it extra dye from when it was dyed? I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> unknown stain. <laughs> I was like, should I really label it as unknown stain or just stain? Cause like unknown stain just sounds 
questionable. <laughs> Unknown stain. <laughs> Great punk band name. <laughs> and the acrylic charm, which I will tuck inside. <laughs> Let's go, that's me. <laughs> You've heard of mystery box. It's a mystery stain. <laughs> It'll work itself out or remove stains on hockey jerseys. <laughs> but what if it's just extra fabric dye? I mean, that might lighten to some extent, but we'll see. It's a mystery stain. Will it come out? It's a mystery. You should label it as unknown stain. I did. It literally says unknown stain on sleeve. Oh wait, it says sleeves plural actually when I typed it out for the listing, but it's one sleeve. One sleeve, one stain. We do the customs. Sweatshirt. 610.20. For the harmonization code. Poly small as package type. Create and print label. Okay, that was the last one. Oh, but more have come in. Wait, or have they? Shopify says two. But I also might get my little snack. We have one for Natalie, one for Amanda. Coming right up. Sorry, it really sounded like a fart the first time I touched it. I was trying to recreate it to no avail. Okay. Snack time for that afternoon energy. Also, I might sit for a bit. <laughs> my thighs and my one booty cheek hurt from that hula hoop. Ugh, I wish we had pizza pops. It's such a good stream snack. My farts. Oh, they smell like her. She was lucky to have my farts sprayed onto her body. Chair acquired. Are you sure it's unknown not trying to sell worn shirts? <laughs> this is like secretly a new, the one I'm wearing is new and I'm selling the one I used to wear. Oh, it's got this stain on it. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs. Oh my God, my muscles didn't even hurt this bad yesterday. And I didn't even use the hula hoop this morning because I was at the dentist. So what's the deal with that? Although I was like on my knees and butt cleaning the dishwasher. I found so much gunk in there. It's not draining. And I thought I fixed the problem by like taking apart the insides because it drained after that. I cleaned it all out and then it drained when I ran it and I was like, hell yeah. But then we ran another cycle and it did not drain. Oh. So we have someone coming tomorrow. So at this point it might be like clogged pipes or the, are you talking about? the drain pump might be fucked. Cause there's also a burning smell when it doesn't drain. <laughs> Oh my God, I forgot we have this Maggie ramen. Mm, masala flavor. Yeah, I'm eating this. One pack or two packs? They're really tiny, like the smallest little packs I've ever seen in my life. 70 grams, it's 250. Oh, well, probably shouldn't eat both if it's 250. Well, we're still three hours from supper time. You know, fuck it. Just like a doctor telling you to not eat cheese. Fuck it. Wait, 
Maybe add some water. See, I do have to cook this though. <laughs> we'll get the water boiling and I'll come back down while it's boiling. But yeah, I found so much grime in the dishwasher. So even though it did not fix the problem, I'm so glad I did that because it was fucking disgusting. Like I, you'll see in the vlog. Cause I've cleaned the dishwasher since we moved in, but it was like a surface level clean because the entire inside was just caked in white. Cause we do have hard water here. So most of it was like hard water stuff, but there's also food in certain places just like caked in there. So I cleaned the heck out of the dishwasher and it took so much time because you can't just like wash it. You have to completely wipe away all the hard water buildup and stuff. Anyway, so this was an even deeper clean and definitely needed like, it was gnarly. I was like, I can't believe that was all in this dishwasher this whole time, barf. Hard water is a biatch, yeah. I wanna get a water softener, like possibly within the next year. I feel like that's the next thing I want for the house would be a water softener. The next biggish thing, you know, I don't actually know how much it costs to get that installed, but probably a few G or something. I mean, I might as well pack the next order. Wait, are my veggies ready to? No, they're not ready. But I can probably, my dispatched pets in SpongeBob are probably back. Yeah, give me that coral. Give me that coral. Get more coral fries being made. So. How many away are we? Ooh, 42 away and I have six in the works. I do think I do need to dispatch for more coral at least one more time. What, sticky people, what does it mean? It means your skin is sticky. Like a child. Wait, did I not just do the sugar squeeze card? Oh, no. I was like, what do you mean? I don't have enough energy. What do you mean? Okay, and then let's go spend the remaining energy on kelp. Ooh, I have 18 and there are batches of kelp that are exactly 18. Let's see if we can find one. And there's one. What? It gave me chum. It should have given me kelp. It gave me chum. I've been punked. What the fuck? Whatever, I can still use chum. I needed to make glue, so. There, just made some glue. Wait, do you have a new Flying Dutchman command? Oh, I do! Free Flying Dutchman spin. Okay, I have new tasks to do. Spend 200 energy and 800 coins. That's easy. How come it says hard? That's like the easiest thing ever. I do that in my sleep. Okay. Maybe I should have done that spin before I just spent that energy, but that's okay. Mamada. She doesn't know if she wants hoodie or crew neck. Well, 
figure it out. <laughs> Conch, did you have a bad day? I don't think so. Oh, that's good. Add boiling water to the ramen from the kettle. I just boil it on the stove top. <laughs> Although if it's like a ramen cup, then I'll pour in boiling water, but. The kettle's probably a little faster at boiling the water. No grandbaby today, his daddy's picking him up early game night and he has to get home to cook like game night for you or game night for him <laughs> or both yeah it salts the water and i'm not sure you know, I gotta look into like the chemistry of how it works because I wonder how much of that salt like binds. Like, is it gonna really taste that much saltier or is it just, like I'm assuming the salt gets used up somehow. Because then we'd have less issues with stuff clogging up. Like every faucet gets hard water buildup. <laughs> Probably building up in the pipes too. And everything would work better. Like it can, hard water can also make detergents not work as well. So you almost need more soap to compensate, like whether that's for your dishwasher or your washing machine and stuff like that. And better for your hair having soft water, allegedly. building up as you speak. Ah! Was there any sludge around the dishwasher door? That's where all my grandma's on my dishwasher. At a glance, it looked bright and clean. No, it was like, cause I've already cleaned the interior. The, the grime was like in the parts. Like if you remove the bottom spinner and like unscrew all the pieces and like pull them all out. I think I broke conch. Hard water has a lot of mineral deposits in it and like it'll build up white crusty stuff. How water softeners works fascinating but does increase the salt content negligibly. Could always use some salt. Well, some people should reduce their salt intake, but eh. <laughs> Okay, my ears itchy. Okay, I'm gonna go check on that water. I was gonna maybe pack those two orders while I was waiting for the water to boil, but like. So I do have, <laughs> see I had a, my backup was like, if I didn't get very many orders, I would wrap gifts, but I got quite a few orders. This will still be a shorter stream than usual. I mean, I could also tweet out, hey, there's some sweaters. If I just wanna pack some more, you know? <laughs> sweaters available. Mm, maybe I could do that. There's also nothing wrong with a shorter stream because I do got stuff to do. Trending, artistic nudity. Well, let me click on that. Oh, God, 
put all my photos on here. I mean, I don't need a photo, but it grabs your attention when there is a photo. Let me do it from the other computer. <laughs> Minu, she's in my chair. What do we see? If you had any trouble grabbing the giant ass stack of hoodies. Yeah, I had to root around to find certain things, but. <laughs> okay. My pictures. Oh yeah, prints and merch, product photos. I can't think without food in my belly. My brain is starved. I'm starving. Okay. Let's grab this photo. And... There. It's tweeted! I could post elsewhere too, but it's just so easy. Ugh, some days I just want to fucking leave Twitter so bad. And other days I'm like, ugh, but it's where the people are. <laughs> I don't want to be where the people are. Okay, let's go check out my boiling water. After reading a few comments. Artistic nudity. I spent four hours wrapping gifts today. I've been, I've bet serious money that would have only taken me an hour. In the end, I got to the stuff for me and for my son that I bought and dumped it in a bag. <laughs> there must be a lot of gifts or some tricky ones. I stood up and was like, fuck it, I've had enough, then order takeaway, because I deserved it. <laughs> That's like me for TikTok. Should I DoorDash food? Yes. I think Twitter is increasingly not where the people are. Yeah, at one point I felt like a lot of people left, and then I was like, I'm out of here too. But then like people came back, and I was like, oh. <laughs> but I'm just like... At the same time, I'm sick of it. Like I use it to post, but I don't really look at much there. The only time I go there is if I want to check the trends for something. Like every time I watch an episode of Survivor, I go straight to Twitter <laughs> to read what people are saying about the episode and to the subreddit. But it's like, ugh. Same for other shows if it's like a big show and I'm watching it as it's airing, you know. But. I kind of want to just leave. But it's like so good for quick announcements. Ugh. But I can also just post stories on like Instagram. I don't really use Instagram stories, but I could start doing it. And more YouTube text posts. Although I don't want to post them. <laughs> like Twitter's the only place I announce where, when new videos are up. But that's kind of all I use it for. Video, uh, video announcements. 
<coughs> and shop announcements of choking on a crumb. One of my favorite things for Twitter too was like it was an easy way for you guys to reach out to me and it was like my preferred way for people to like send me a photo of some fan art or what have you. Because I feel like it's the best place for notifications and like if you tag me in a photo it's like right there in my notifications. I don't have to sort through to like a special spot in my inbox, go to tagged images, it's just like, it's right there. But it's just like, Twitter's a rat hole. So I like flip flop every day, I'm like, I'm deleting, well not deleting, but I would just leave with like a message being like, peace out. Like, change the banner and, like, final message so that people don't try to contact me there anymore. Always torn. Flip-flop every freaking day, dude. And I feel like everyone moved the threads and then just left. <laughs> they were like... We're here, just kidding, bye. We're going back to Twitter. <laughs> Ugh, I should have brought my phone up so I could read chat. Because these noodles will cook in a matter of minutes. I'll go grab it. <laughs> me my videos live playing Fall Guys live no maybe I gotta go to my channel you view channel live oh there it is I got oh there's me <laughs> I'm about a four second delay. Cool. <laughs> Go for it. Twitter's becoming entirely unusable for people who don't have an account. Used to check people's Twitter for like announcements, but can't do that anymore if you're not signed in. done. Let me just do a little test. Mm. Maybe another minute. I'm looking at it and I'm like, oop, maybe I should have done just one pack. They're such small packs compared to like a typical Roman pack. I'm not gonna have room for supper. Are you watching yourself? In a way. I mean, I just see the blank work area like you guys see. 
I don't have anything exciting to add to this. It's going to be just as is from the packet. Okay, one more taste test. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I'm going to drain most of the water. I like to leave a little bit in there, but I don't want it too soupy. Sometimes I have it more on the soupy side if I'm adding a lot of fixins. But not today. Sauce packet number one. It's that masala flavor. Oh, it's so good. Makes me want to go back to Twisted Indian because we just ate there for the first time. They've got things like beef burgers and chicken burgers, but like obviously with Indian spices and flavors and I'm like, oh, that looks good. Okay, maybe I left a little too much water. I do not want this to splatter onto my sweater. I might have to get a dummy sweater for while I eat. Going upstairs to grab a sweater. A bib, if you will. Mike's probably gonna cut out. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can't you? Just kidding, that was intentional. Unless it was also cutting out simultaneously. My music stopped. Unless we're just between songs. Oh, I think we were between songs. Okay. I'm coming down. Let me just pour this into my bowl. God, it smells so good. Scream, scream. Tell everybody I'm on my way into the basement. Yeah, I'm so excited. My booty feel bruised. <laughs> I blame the hula hoop. My cat keeps going after the poor plants. Tell him to go after the rich plants. Leave the poor plants alone. Will you ever replace the zebra wallpaper? It's not even wallpaper, it's paint. And it's textured, so we'd have to we have to sand it off. 
We will eventually. Well, it's tempting to just lean into the zebra, at least for the bathroom, and like put up a bunch of zebra items all over the room, like artwork, small figurines. <laughs> lean into it. But we'll probably get rid of it eventually. For sure the zebra in the bedroom. Sorry, I forgot I didn't put my mic back on. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just a baby. I sit around and cook some soups and eat Well, actually, I don't want this right in my mouth when I'm eating. And just get all fat and sassy. You can sit right here. Okay. Need a hair clip. I'm sorry. I don't have any. I'm a little baby. I'm a baby. I have no money. I can pay you in blocks. Is that ramen? Yeah. Masala flavored. Parts of it are hot, parts of it are not that hot. <laughs> Stir it. Or just blow on it more. Bathroom makeover vlog. I did say I gotta become a DIY TikToker because the views were good on that kitty arch. <laughs> Who was gonna tell I me the God of really emoji like isn't Patrick Star covering his ears, but Bailey's Darkness paper? and the devil? I don't know. <laughs> it's from that poo animation I did. Been watching a lot of Paper Star videos on TikTok. Now I need to make some. <laughs> See if my tweet got any new sales. So I had two orders before. Now I have three. Woo! -hoo! Although either way, by the time I'm done eating and then get the final orders done, it'll be a decent length stream. They don't always have to run till six o'clock. I mean, when I first decided to do this. I wanted my streams to be at least three hours. And we've hit that mark. I want ramen. No, no chance of a snack because I'm stuck in a care home. Tell them to give it to you or else. Wait, did I dispatch for both coral? I think I only did one thing of coral. I got two pets, I gotta dispatch both. This one's already almost back, there's three and a half minutes left. We could have had double coral by now. Some energy, more energy. Dispatch. We're now thirty nine corals away from completing. 
my long-term tasks. I like dailies, but the long-term ones. The monthlies, pretty much. Not a full month. My monthlies. Hi, Danielle. Welcome to my eating stream. My hunched over <laughs> eating stream. Lost my care package while hospitalized. Like a care package from a family member. Time till the holidays coming quickly. Just let that sink in. I know. Scary. Let's go. My order's been picked up. <gasps> Stab my lip with my fork, and then it also clinked against my teeth. Ow, my lippy. Maybe I shouldn't stick my fork in my mouth while I'm actively speaking. Taco Bell come to mama. Ring the dinner bell. For Taco Bell. <laughs> That's it. I'm making ramen. <laughs> I'm such an influencer. I'm influencing the people. <laughs> night, guys. Have a good rest of the stream. Good night, Lily Pad. Eh, this is going to be a clunky bite. Nobody look. Oh, the carers allocated to look after me, coming to the house and helping with things. I'll use code Bailey Ramen for delivery, free delivery from my kitchen to my desk. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a packing station that tidy. Love in the stream. <laughs> Yeah, this day's relatively clean, other than like the odd knickknacks lying around the screens. Because this is where I put my packages, so this usually stays clear, piles up, then I transfer them into bags. This is probably the most consistently tidy spot of the art room. <laughs> but that's because I pack the orders twice a week, sometimes more if there's a big shop update, but. Gotta keep it clear. <laughs> I avoid eating instant noodles like that because they're so salty they make me thirsty for like two days anytime I eat them. <laughs> I'm so excited, she's almost here. What do you live across the street from Taco Bell or something? That's some fast service. Delivered by drone. <laughs> Eight blocks. I am now going to triangulate your location. My secret Santa just set my gift fingers crossed for it to arrive before I go out of town. <laughs> Me threatening Jack. I'm gonna find out where you live. Meanwhile, I have like a database of your guys' addresses. <laughs> like the store, I mean. It's true, she knows all of us. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know where you live, but I could look it up. Hello, Jesso. Just Bailey threatening us with a good time. <laughs> hey, I don't mean I would show up. I could send a package featuring a stink bomb or something or a glitter bomb. This flavor is just too good. They're the yellow ramen packets, they're the brand Maggie. Mm, masala. Yum, 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 yum. I always threaten my chat that I'll tuck them in so good they won't be able to get out because no one sleeps. <laughs> mm. Who wants my Taco Bell? Wait, I thought you were so excited to just get it. Now you're giving it away? Kidding, Bailey, calm down.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> if anyone was only listening and not watching, you missed out. Oh, I gotta put my sweater back on. The heist is just like a fun little game you can play in chat to earn more bay bucks. Uh, maybe I'll try sitting for these orders. If I can reach anything. We're up to four orders. Eh, eh, eh. Which is probably enough. Like I could post to other social media platforms if I wanted to extend the stream, but like we, like I got things to do. <laughs> hey, Christina. There's apparently some Taco Bells in England now, but there ain't any nearby. My neighborhood is having a, a crate place. Can't wait for it to open, hoping they aren't disappointed ones at the mall where they're just flat fillings. What do you mean? Like the, you mean like the, ins, the innards? There are not enough innards? Because crepes are flat by nature. Is your computer screen missing an edge or am I crazy? You're crazy. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna open up that one curtain a little bit. The one I closed earlier. Because now the sun's not coming in directly from that spot. Let there be light. Okay. Let's refresh. Update all stores. The insides, they don't feel it stuffed like they do in Japan. Are you going to Saskatchewan for Christmas? No, not this year. I'm hosting for my side of the family, so they're coming to me. Okay, this order's for Amanda. I guess I do have to stand up to get the sweatshirt. Okay, for Amanda from here in Alberta. Bird of boys, rise up. Okay, medium pink. Bird of boys. Bird of... Babes, we're the bird of babes. Okay, pink crew deck, chest and sleeves. We might have to put sleeves on more of these. The way we did it for this batch is we put sleeves on 50% of them, which is more than we usually do. really popular I'm gonna have to put some extra sleeves on where is it these are all hoodies wait did I say crew neck yeah medium pink crew neck <clears throat> I gotta go digging in here oh here's one
Some are hoodies, some are crewnecks, some have the sleeves, some don't have the sleeves. Now it's kind of assaulting me from that window, just a little bit. Sorry for making you stand, gotta work off that row. <laughs> I mean, it's predominantly the sweater orders and that's what I have to stand for, so. I'd probably be better off just moving the chair. It's gonna be more effort getting in and out of it than <laughs> just standing. Plus reaching the sleeves. Is she killing people back there again? <laughs> like the under the stairs incident. Curious how you got the pick to turn in 3D space like that. Uh, I did it in Photoshop. Because if you hold down the control key and grab the corners, you can just move them wherever you want. Eh, eh. All right. Wake up, Mr. Scale. How dare they not give a messy person napkins? What am I supposed to use now? <laughs> Pants, I guess. <clears throat> Started inhaling some of that water. My face is glowing on the sun. <laughs> oh, it's just nice sunset vibes. <sighs> What's for supper or did you already eat? It's not supper time here yet. But I did just have some ramen. <laughs> I'm running over boxes. Chair be gone. Next is Natalie Planner Pad Bundle. Oh, I just grabbed that one. That. Then, Winter Bun Washi and Mail Cat Washi. And XL Pink Crew with the sleeves. XL Sleevey. XL Sleevey. And here we go. Nice sunset vibes, maybe if it wasn't 3.30. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's 3.30 in the afternoon for anyone wondering. Winter vibes. I'm just gonna close the one curtain. Thank you very much. So one, two, three, four, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Bella says, I'm gonna be so constipated by the end of the night. <laughs> I 
My friend looks exactly like Tulip Bun. Not a read, just a fact. Had to get her the print for Christmas. Twenty thousand six hundred eighty-one orders. You did good, Bailey. Thanks. That's for the entire lifetime of my shop. It's pretty exciting. And that is number of orders, because like the order numbers start at one thousand. So like if you're the first person to ever order from my store, your order is number one thousand. But this is displaying number of orders, not what your order number is. Like the order numbers I'm doing right now are in the 21,000s. <laughs> you, my burp tasted like Taco Bell. What, didn't you think it tasted good? Oh, but it's kind of slantedly folded. Like really thin on this side, thick on this side. I mean, it might fit. Put the washi on the thin side. Is glassine better for the environment? Compared to plastic, yeah. Because glassine's just paper. Ew, I just licked my finger. <laughs> glassine <laughs> is paper. So it's biodegradable. Brooklyn! My sister's here. Well, now we gotta extend the stream. I only have two more orders to do after this one. like Tetris packing in those boxes. <laughs> Let this dry before I let go. This box is popping. It's popping. We'll do the safety piece on the front. Because it's a bit tight. Although not as tight as some. I'm at the gym in between reps. Whoa. BRB one minute, gotta do another. <laughs> I think your sister's the main character here. <laughs> I can't believe this. Okay, next order is for Cassandra and we have a message. Hello, hello, watching the live. Can't wait to get this order, so excited. Hey, Cassandra. <laughs> Back from therapy and grocery shopping, so tired. We don't care about Bailey, we care about Bork. Oh, we love basis. <laughs> we have for Cassandra, witch hat, sketchbook, video game, washi, and one of the discounted sweaters. It is the tiny hole on back shoulder with thread included. It is teeny tiny and it's like on the back. So like once it's fixed, you won't even really notice it. There's a little baggie in there with some thread, which is probably hard to see because the thread matches the sweater color, but it's in there. One. 
Hey, Espresso Sour, you're EP today. <laughs> the missile is tired. He is EP. Brooklyn, we were all thinking about you on the stream last week. Hope you're doing well. There's some kiki furs in here. She's watching like, no, leave them in there. <laughs> Keep the furs. There are probably still one or two rogue ones in there. Everything's her territory. <laughs> I already feel so fat and I'm not even done eating my Taco Bell. <laughs> Tis the season to get all fat and sassy. So Brooklyn, you're not really in the Christmas spirit by being at the gym. <laughs> Me saying that even though I've been exercising the last couple days too. <laughs> but not today. Today I was just ex exercising my right and go to the dentist. <laughs> Brooklyn, you know what my dentist said to me today? She said, I think you might have sleep apnea. <laughs> I sit around and cook some soups and I was like, damn. <laughs> this is a real professional. She's right. <laughs> Saving myself for Christmas. Haven't drank anything in a month other than on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I debated that, but then I was like, for my December stream, I was like, I gotta. For like the gaming stream. <laughs> what is that? The ice looks like it has a crack. I mean, it could just straight up be a crack in the water. But it could have been an animal, like, making its way through. But it's like a perfect line. It doesn't look like footprints. Maybe the ice straight up cracked. It looks like a windshield crack. And it goes off into a spike into the middle of the pond. And it's glowing right now because the sun is hitting it. Did you tell her you have mild sleep apnea? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How could she tell? She was suspecting it based off, like, clenching and stuff. I don't know what else. I don't know. I feel like that alone... And she, cause she also like brought up a snoring at the same time. She's like, do you snore at night? Because I think you might have sleep apnea. I'm just like, yes, and yes, fuck. <laughs> Who is this, Teresa Caputo? How does she know this? Okay, I can't really get a picture through the tree. Oh, I kind of can. Ice crack? I'm sending it to you, Brooklyn. It's like a light line in the water or on the ice. Is it ice crack or ass crack? I'm not sure. And this will not show up on camera. I just know it. It's too small. It's hard enough to see on the screen, let alone holding it up. behind the trees too. Her dentist is a subscriber. <laughs> Have you planned the company Christmas party? <laughs> I guess that'll just be the family get together. I checked my Twitch recap. It said Bayshine was my top most used emote. <laughs> It 
It's where the spirits of winter battled. I've discovered the hearts, the kingdom hearts. The heart of the cards, the heart of the ocean. Okay, this next order is for Sarah and there is a message on this one too. Hi Bailey, I've been watching your YouTube videos for years, but this is my first shop order. You've been such an inspiration and role model as I've grown up. If it's possible, I'd love to see my order packed in a vlog to show my mom best Sarah. Wait, does she not know I'm streaming right now? Sarah, Sarah! <laughs> Hey, kitten. Bailey's gonna kiss her subordinate at the Christmas company Christmas party. What a scandal. <laughs> All right, for Sarah. XL, pink crew, chest only. XL crew, XL crew, XL crew. Got it. Tulip bun art print. Good choice, good choice. It's my current fave of what I've got. There are not many to choose from. But <laughs> Dainty flower washi tape. Cottage core buns. That's not sold out yet. <laughs> There's like one in here. Although there's probably more on Christian's packing station. Winter bun sticker set. Winter bun ornament set. Video game bag. <coughs> Base squat. <laughs> a matte Mr. Bun Bun and a hollow Mr. Bun Bun. Dainty flower notepad and video game notepad. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mistletoe over the embroidery machine. Abuse of power. What if he's a willing victim? <laughs> There's a part in Kingdom Hearts that can't pass. It's the tunnel with the ship and won't let me go inside of it. I don't recall that part. There's a lot I don't recall about Kingdom Hearts. But. YouTuber caught kissing employee on camera. I don't know, sounds like it's already been done before. <laughs> Married woman caught kissing co-worker. <laughs> How long's notepad bundle available for? I mean, until it sells out and then I can reevaluate if I wanna add more, depending how many are left at that point. And right now I think there's quite a few left. Let me look. We got time, we're on the last order. Products. Notepad. Okay, I have a lot of notepads. I should have typed bundle. There are currently 141 available. Sold 155 units. Wouldn't I have put up a round number? These numbers never add up, but I must, that means I put up like 300 bundles. Sheesh. So there's like 141 left, which is a, about half of what I put up.
Wait, there's a new order in from Cynthia. We have another one after this, people. It's like a subathon, but it's like order a thon. <laughs> as long as the orders are coming in, I'll keep streaming. <laughs> It's me, woohoo! <laughs> about to get canceled for the caught kissing employee. <laughs> Finally got a Yakuza game. It's called Lost Judgment. Okay, this theoretically could all go in here. But I think I'm just gonna do box. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any more of that box folded. Who <gasps> <laughs> is me? I'm so woke. Wait, do I have more? <gasps> Wait. No, there's gotta be more of that box. Dude. Dude. Hey. Eh? I mean, like, I can use a, a multi-depth box, but... Um, I might double check in the garage. The mic might cut out, but I'm just gonna go look. I might be out of these boxes. I'm gonna go look in the garage. I don't think there are any. I think there's some of the one that's one notch shallower. The ones that were crushing Samara. Into the unknown. My voice breaking up. Remember me. <sighs> yeah, we're down to one stack over here, and those are the two inch depth. Well, I'm gonna move that closer to the door. Yeah. I think I grabbed that with my sweater open. Hand, otherwise, that totally would have cut my hand when it slid. Ah, my Bluetooth earbud disconnected. <laughs> I just hear like it sounded like please a member or something like what whatever SpongeBob said it sounded like that. Once a member, always a member. But I heard a he's a member. <clears throat> it was Molan face. Hey, your picture looks like you. Please a member. <laughs> of course, for you, it would come through like that with my earbud disconnecting. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the two months. Angie, thank you for the six months. <laughs> Crushing Samara. Hasn't she been through enough? I know. I was like, she's fragile. He went in there to get some boxes and had to move some out of the way. And he just like plopped the whole stack on her. And I was like, ah! Well, then he left it there because I wasn't there when it happened. But then I like walk in the garage later and I'm like, Samara, her arms are taped on only. They might fall off. Please remember. <laughs> now there's a scandal. People were just saying how we got to have some scandal to go viral. Like put up a, uh, or not to go viral, but it would go viral. Theoretically, <laughs> mistletoe up above the embroidery machines. And then it's like, 
married woman caught kissing co-worker. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, let me just do one last check for these boxes. Oh, this is not awesome. a Christian company at all. <laughs> These are also two inch. These are the deeper ones, but they're square. Well, I'm surrounded by a bunch of squares. I guess I got to use the multi deck boxes. Horny. I do have a lot of them, but like they're heavy for no reason. Or I could just do the poly mailer. This is one that can go poly mailer technically. So maybe I should just do that. But I already sealed it up. Shucks. Oh wait, put the ornaments all the way in. And I'm gonna tuck the washi down here. Super big news and hype. I'm having a baby. Will not me, but Linda. Ah! Congratulations. Wait, does Christian know? Did I just get top secret deets? The exclusive scoop. Jingled. <laughs> married boss kissing married subordinate, no less. The power imbalance. <laughs> Heading to Panera for my sip club drink. Uh oh, don't get that caffeine charged one. Two deaths so far, and those are just the known ones. A lot of dangers down there. He does not chin. I don't have each other on Discord, oddly. <laughs> I know something you don't know. <laughs> Oop. Oh, we're over eight lines of goods. Well, we have 11. Okay, can merge those two stickers together. The two notepad, is this 11? Okay, merge two stickers, two notepads. That just gets us down to nine. I'm just gonna merge the two vinyl sticker sets together, even though they're technically different. And then vinyl sticker individual times two. Notepad times two. And that should get us I'm down scared. to eight lines. Woohoo! <laughs> United States of danger. Anyone else a SIP club member? <laughs> like, we just have multiple conversations going on. <laughs> okay, there's Sarah's. Now I know there's at least Cynthia's. Let's reload this. Hey, boy. Eight. What that pee pee do? <laughs> Was that for mole? Where was I going? Oh yeah, the store. Because I closed my store tab. Why would I do that? Okay, wait, let me just check my spam folder. Nothing. Hey okay. boy, what that pee pee do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, big fluffy white dog outside with a curly tail. Trudging through the snow. Well, the path is paved, but... There's mounds of snow on the side of the path, so it looks like it's walking through snow. All right, ooh, we have sweatshirt and sketchbook and a sticker. So, strawberry, there's a bit of a theme here. <laughs> strawberry sticker. Blank white sketchbook, I actually have to grab more from the box. There's a sticker, sketchbook. Blank white sketchbook. You're getting the one with the two big holes. That sounds, that sounded, that was not meant to sound. Anyway, <laughs> it's the one where the sweatshirt bunched up partway through stitching. And so it's stitched through the arm and the shoulder. And the only way to disconnect it was to cut it, which left two holes. Where is it? Right here. And I even wound some thread around a bobbin for you. Cause I needed, you know, I don't know if you're gonna use it, that thread or not, but I figured I'd give you the option. And I was like, I need to wind it around something. And then I was like, wait, I have blank plastic bobbins in my sewing kit. So I hand wound the bobbin partially. Lovely, thanks for that. <laughs> oh yeah, I was like trying to flatten this. Maybe it can fit in that box. No, we don't have any more of that box size. <laughs> we'll have to go multi-depth. Uh, the pre-cut ones are gone. So, uh, wait, those are not multi-depth. Grab a handful of them. <laughs> I think my booty just knocked something over. Now, do I have a knife? It's around here somewhere. There it is. You matched the order. Yep. Yeah. I was like, I gotta wear. Oh, that's the bottom. I gotta wear the straw sweatshirt on strawberry restock day. Sometimes it's easy to do this once it's actually built. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I guess because I got Christian to do it this. I mean, I didn't see how exactly he did it, but. Because <laughs> before I was just folding, I'd fold the bottom of the box up and then I would cut the corners. We're cutting corners around here. That's the Bailey J way. <laughs> what do you have there? A box. Okay, now this. I usually don't like naked stickers unless it's the freebie. So I am gonna sleeve it. A lone sticker. He's all alone. Oh my god. This pink gingham goes so well with the strawberries. 
<laughs> so cute. I'm burping like crazy. Taco Bell sends its regards. Oof, that was a nice sound. <laughs> I like boxes. Boxes are full of great potential. And they can be so mysterious. Like what's inside? I'm so glad I bought the notepad bundle twice because the package got wet in one corner. One of the bundles got a little damage and notepads have a water stain on them now. <gasps> I can send replacements if you shoot me an email. I replaced damaged in delivery. This one's going to Ontario. Ho ho. Whoop. Tall stack. <laughs> and there was more than this. We have some bagged already. I got one bag tied off, and then I've got the poly mailers in a bag. Yeah, I guess I'll tie that off. It's getting full. It's getting heavy. <clears throat> See? Bailey claws. But for this Santa, you gotta pay. <laughs> Hello, Chip. I just heard him go, no. Oh. He just went back into the embroidery room. I think something went wrong. Let's investigate. Did you just say no? No. Oh. I don't think so. Okay, I thought I heard you come in here and go, no. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, did something go wrong? One of them was broken, so I was like, oh, no. Oh, just a thread break. Okay. <laughs> we needed answers for the stream, so. Okay. And for my own personal curiosity. Oh, the, the cha uh, chat wanted to know. Yeah, it was it's chat's fault. You might be correct that the order counter didn't go up because this is order number 682, 
21682. So you'd think that would also be a two, unless there's something... I mean, there are custom orders that get weird numbers like D2. <laughs> but are those really counted? Because if so, then the number should be higher, not lower. Four bags of packages. Woohoo, we're caught up. I'm sure there'll be a good influx once the vlog goes up, as always. <laughs> Bye, Bella. Stay close to the bathroom. Angie, I don't need your info. <laughs> I think you do. No. <laughs> I'm so excited to get the strawberry sweatshirt. First time I placed two orders from you in the same year. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, we're gonna work on smalls and extra smalls next. We do have more like sandstone in these sizes, but sandstone doesn't sell very fast. I kinda want to get like a bunch of pink out there. Um, so it might be a mix of smalls and extra smalls plus those sandstones for the sizes that dropped today. I don't know. I mean, they dropped last night, technically. I added the inventory last night. <laughs> Um, but yeah, more sizes coming. And once we're through the straws, we will start on the Luna Moth restocks too. There aren't that many strawberry blanks, so it shouldn't take too long. Although the Luna Moths probably won't be up till next year because we'll take the end of the month off for Christmas. So... Yeah. <laughs> we don't need your output. <laughs> oh God. Oh, that was too good. <laughs> too good. Hmm. Well, maybe I will be the one making supper. Christian did cook last night, so I feel like it's fair for me to cook. Not that we never do twice in a row, but you know. 420, ah! Will Christian emerge? No. <laughs> Thanks, I'm here all night. I'm not, bye! So yeah, it's a little a little early to start cooking supper, but probably we'll start soon. I might get started on the gift wrapping, like get the supplies out. I gotta go through my list. Maybe I'll save gift wrapping for tomorrow. I'm not sure. Just got my order for the notepads. They're awesome. Thank you. E, glad you like them. Thank you for ordering. <laughs> Notepads are just so useful. I'm just excited I finally have them all because I've been meaning, like I was saying since the end of last year, I was like, I need to do a big notepad update. Finally did it. 
you're about to cook dinner and I just ate breakfast. <laughs> hey, Amber, you got here at the end of the stream. You'll have to rewatch from the start because I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm also trying to get a vlog filmed between today and tomorrow. But tomorrow's also the editing day for two vlogs, including the one I'm currently trying to film, so. <laughs> okay, was a little busy with hubby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Under the mistletoe. Under the mistletoe. Were you at the Pokemon Christmas bash? Smooching time. <laughs> When's your family coming? When will the channel go quiet? Oh god, I haven't figured it out yet. Um like this might actually be the last live stream, just because next week is gonna be chaotic. Cause actually I don't know what day everyone's coming. I know Brooklyn and Anthony are coming on the 22nd. Like, I know people told me their days off, but I don't know what days they're coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> Plus, I forget. I can't remember everyone's schedule. <laughs> Record a drive into the mountains. You live like 45 minutes from them. I got stuff to do. I can't just drive to the mountains. But yeah, I'm pretty close. <laughs> Well, I'm ending it here. The live stream that is. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the orders. It went like pretty much perfectly the stream. This is exactly what I was picturing. I was like, hmm, we have 11 orders going into the stream. If we can get more to make the stream last a few hours, then that's perfection. And look, here we are at 423. So thank you so much. More sweater sizes coming in the straws and then Luna Moth later. And then more stuff. More. More. <laughs> Gotta keep grinding. Christian, keep working those machines. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone.